Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So yeah, it's it's been a while, <laughs> uh, a few months, and I needed to take that uh, that time off from doing videos. I was still active on social media, and I was still doing all the you know sales and candle day and all that fun stuff, and posting on my Instagram. But I was just kind of burnt out from all the Halloween push candles and um, between Yankee and Kringle. Um, and even some homeworks stuff there with the Halloween, uh, in the months of like July and August, it was just, it was crazy. Um, and then the fall was historically a busy month for us, you know, with all the fall activities with, you know, having younger kids and going out and doing all the pumpkin patches and things like that. And then, you know, putting up a big Halloween display outside this year. Um, and we're on a couple of the tours, right. Uh, and then Christmas. You know, Halloween came down, Christmas basically went right up, um, and here we are, it's December 30th, I'm recording this 31st, uh, posting it, um, so Happy New Year, right, and um, I'm getting back, going to ease my way back into things here, um, so I figured let's start with, by the way, I got a new phone back in like September, and it was like my first time using it to record, I think. Um, so let me know how the picture quality works now. Um, so we'll see. But so I figured, you know, let's let's kick things off in the new year here now. And um, one of my favorite videos to do. And I wish I had time to do like end of the year recaps. But I just I just didn't have time. Um, Yankee Candle Spring Preview, right? One of my favorite videos to do. Um, Source and all the stuff here and. Actually, kind of fell into my lap this year. So as we were doing all this uh, after Christmas shopping that we always do uh, after this entire week, going to different stores all over the state and you know whatnot, um, Target <laughs> of all places had um, this candle sitting in a basket. I'm like, oh, they, they don't carry signature there. That that, that can't be right. Uh, I pick it up. I'm like, oh, this is Desert Blooms. Um, I'm like, okay, so it can be right. So um, I took it to the scanner, and it said $16.99. I'm like, are you kidding me? Um, so, yeah. So I got all four of these large jars, uh, or these large tumblers, signature tumblers, from Target for $16.99 each. Uh, so that's basically a BOGO, right? Because uh, they're $34 normally on Yankee Candle's website, and, you know, like Kohl's is like $30.99 or something like that. But um, basically, you buy two. You just take the BOGO, right? Buy one, get one. Um, at Yankee. And there's also a fifth one. So I did go into um, three different Yankee Candle stores. Two of them, first of all, they were all a mess, right? The semi-annual sale was a mess. They were just unloading everything. I don't think I picked over from the last-minute Christmas rush or, or what have you there. But the stores were a mess. They were just unloading everything. Um, two of the stores had absolutely no spring preview products out. The third store had a small table. They had milk cups on a few of them, the small tum the small signature candle, and then the um scent plugs for a few of them. Now, I did get some scent plugs. Actually I got scent plugs in all these except for one of them. Um and there's actually a fifth scent. Uh oh, and there's actually some big news at the end of the end of the video here. Some big news from Yankee. Um a fifth scent called Canyon Pine. I would have bought the milk cup to review. Um, I wasn't going to pay the thirteen dollars for the uh, the small candle because that's worthless. Um, but they didn't have it, unfortunately. But I did smell it in the store. Um, and well, first off, this, the collection is called Under the Desert Sun. Okay, uh, so five fragrances under the desert sun. Look for this to come out sometime around um, January twenty first, twenty second. Something along those lines. So that's when the summer annual sale ends. And I'm looking for something. Um, but anyhow, so um, look for that around there in the store and online. But Target has them now. Target has four of the five. They don't have Canyon Pine. So Canyon Pine, it's a basic pine fragrance. Um, I have been to Arizona. I have been to the Sedona Desert. I have been to... Uh, what is that? Cotton something. I have been to all the different 
deserts out near Scottsdale. Um, that's where my in-laws live. Um, I hate Arizona. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't like it one bit. It's way too damn hot out there. Um, but I can appreciate some of the stuff that Arizona um, has to offer, except for the heat, right? Um, so I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with some of the stuff out there. Um, so let's go over here. We'll go one by one and we'll, we'll get more in depth here. So here we have um, Sweet Vanilla Horchata right there. We have Aloe and Agave. Desert Blooms. There's actually a really cool botanical garden out there. Um, I forget what it's called, but they have some really, really nice place there. And Stargazing. So, uh, the thing about Arizona, right, when you're stargazing here, it's very accurate because they have these, um, they call them, I think it's like low light level laws where you can't have any, um, at least in the Scottsdale area, you can't have any lights um, facing the sky and they have to be like under a certain wattage. And that's like to preserve, like, I mean, when you go out there, it, it, the sky is, it's black, right? It's, it's pitch black. Um, so stargazing, you know, very, very accurate. Something that you would do um, out in Arizona there. And I, I love the label on this. It's, it's the purple wax. It's got the purple clouds, you know, some purple mountains, right? Purple mountains, majesty. Um, so we got the two wicks here. So this is a very um, calming, soothing scent to me, right? Like lavender you get right there. Uh, a little bit of sage going on here. Uh, a little bit of floral note. But it it's, um, reminds me of Lush's. I think it's either Twilight or it's um, Sleepy. One of the two. I want to say it's more towards the Twilight side, right? That very nice lavender shower gel. Um, I do have the uh, the notes here for stargazing. Um, and it says here, enjoy stargazing into the endless night sky over the sand dunes surrounded by the notes of lavender, eucalyptus, and vanilla sugar. So the top notes, lilac. Um, you have the floral note, right? It's that purple flower. Purple makes sense. Uh, mineral air eucalyptus. I don't get much of the eucalyptus, which is nice because I do not like that fragrance one bit. Um, then the lavender, dream, and violet are in the middle. Again, more purple stuff. Uh, and then we have a vanilla, sugar, rose petal, and sandalwood more. That floral note in here. So to me, this is definitely a nighttime fragrance. Um, get a milk cup, put it in a, a wax warmer or, you know, a milk cup warmer with a timer. Two hours, whatever, before bed. And... Um, you know, don't don't leave it unattended, but uh, I can see myself doing that. Really, really impressed with this one. Um, I, I know some folks they just you know don't like Yankee. That's that's fine. Um, I give them credit where credit's due. Some of these things, there's three of the four I like here. Canyon pine I could do without, right? It's just a, it was another basic tree fragrance, um, and you know. Not really many trees out in Arizona. Um, it's not in the desert. Um, maybe there's like the um, uh, like the mesquite trees and stuff like that. Um, okay, let's go with this one. So let's get this out of the way. Um, I'm not you know not quite sure um, about this one. It's it's nice. It's a sweet vanilla um, horchata, which is a drink. It's a, a Spanish drink. Um, you know, a lot of Spanish food. Down Arizona, I get it. And I'm saying Arizona, it could be a desert in, a, in like New Mexico or whatever. I just, I just have experience with Arizona. When I think desert, I think Arizona. Um, you know, it could be New Mexico, Texas, uh, some of the lower parts of uh, California. Like, God, my watch is just going crazy tonight. Um, anyhow, here. So on the label here, we do have uh, some hens and chicks, right? Um, growing in the pot there, we have the drink, uh, some more hens and chicks going on here, right? Um, and some, uh, vanilla flower right there. This is nice. It's smooth. It's creamy. Um, it's basic. It's a basic horchata. Like, 
um, rum chata. If you've ever had like a rum chata, it's like got that like vanilla cinnamon going on in there. Um, you can mix uh, rum chata and fireball, I think, is a good mixture. Uh, I think I've had that. But um, <clears throat> it's not bad. It's refreshing, which is what I like about this this collection here. Uh, it's a re it's a refreshing um, <clears throat> refreshing collection, like a reset, right? Um, reset for the spring. I am ready to take Christmas down uh, and start getting you know spring ready here. Um, but so you know, smooth, creamy, vanilla y, right? Um, a little bit of cinnamon going on here basic beverage uh it says the perfect sweet refreshing treat after a day of exploring the fragrances of icy sweetened rice milk with notes of cardamom and vanilla um <clears throat> we've got notes of rice milk orange peel and sweet yuzu so we have that little citrusy note going on top <clears throat> mid notes of soft rose velvet jasmine and stone fruit don't want really to pick up that stone fruit there base of sandalwood cardamom and vanilla so again, it's 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 nice. It's not bad. It's not quite for me, <clears throat> but I do like the label on this. All right, now we've got probably my top two out of this collection here. Um, not in any particular order. So we'll go with uh, Desert Blooms first here. So first off, this label I'm in love with. So here we have the. Um, Desert Rose, if you're not familiar, uh, Desert Rose is this right there. It's a very, um, it's bulbaceous, a word, but it's got this really thick bulb-like trunk. That's where it stores all of its water um, because if it's in the desert, right, it doesn't rain that much. And when it does, it rains. Um, so it stores it all up there. And um, it's these beautiful flowers right here. They almost look like plumeria flowers. They're not your typical rose bloom um but they look more tropical like a plumeria or even like a not even not even a uh um hibiscus but they're smaller and they have the pattern of uh plumeria flowers right you can get all different colors they have red and white ones pink it's probably the most common um they're also native to like india right because of the heat and the temperature that they grow over there Again, we have some more um, hens and chicks going on here. Uh, they multiply like crazy and some more succulents. These are all mostly succulents there. Um, but I just love, love this label on this one here. Love the color of the wax. Nice light pink. Mm. So it is a uh, rose, a nice light rose fragrance here. Um. Maybe like a little salty, a little sweet, green. There's some some greenery note going on here. Um, could be more on the feminine side, right? Like a, like a perfume. I can see this. I could definitely see. I could definitely see this being a perfume. The aloe and agave is more outdoorsy. This is more um, feminine. Body, uh, home, you know, personal fragrance, right? Um, but just a beautiful label all the way around here. Um, this one has discovered a beautiful sense of colorful blooms in the warm desert. Notes of rose petals, saguaro cactus, um, and sage saguaro. If you don't know what they are, those are the tall cactus with the hands, right? Um, interesting, they are like a protected species out there. So <clears throat> when we're protected plant or whatever they are, cactus, cacti, um, when my in-laws were building their, their house out there, there were swarrows on their property and they actually had to relocate them on the property. They were not allowed to just get rid of them. They actually had to relocate them because the tall ones are hundreds of years old. Um, and if you're driving down like one of the highways there, like going into Scottsdale, you'll see, and they call them soldiers. Um, you'll see swarrows, just tall, straight swarrows, because they don't get the, the arms until later on. But you'll see rows of swarrows um, there. And they're good for the environment, right? They, um, owls nest in them. So, like, uh, all the different, there's uh, owls right around the corner that they, 
they breed every year. Um, so you, you'll go there and you'll see in the arm, you'll see the owl's nest there. Um, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so animals use the swallows for, you know, shelter, um, housing, right? Um, food and water, you know? But yeah, um, that was interesting to note there. Um, so sparkling bergamot, cypress, and swallow cactus on top. Um, the sparkling bergamot, right, that could be where the, the perfume note was coming in here, but it's not like that. Um, rose petals, vetiver, dried sage, and then base is driftwood, musk, and aldehydes. So again, very nice floral fragrance. Perfume. Now, aloe and agave might top desert blooms is my favorite. Um, it's stunning. It's refreshing. Um, the color, you have the, um, the, the agave here, the aloe plant, All right? More succulents, basically. Um, it's going all the way around. Um, agave, they, um, they'll bloom, right? Um, they will put a, a shoot out that's like six feet tall with a flower and then it's done. Um, there's all different kinds of agave, right? Um, you know, agave is one of like the liquors, right? You can use agave in liquor. You can use agave as a sweetener instead of like syrup. Um, so there's lots of different things. Aloe, we obviously know what aloe is good for, sunburn, cuts, burns, things like that. Um, <laughs> this is just so fresh. Uh, it's almost watery, right? Like almost like aquatic um, fragrance, but green and just, ah, oh man, juicy. Really nice, really nice. Loving this fragrance. I did get this um, in a scent plug. I got scent plugs in this, Stargazer, Stargazing, and Desert Bloom. I actually got two of this, because um, I think this would be great for a bathroom, right? Just soothing, refreshing, right? Um, so this one says here, yeah, let's go for that. The fragrance of aloe, tea leaves, and blue lotus create refreshing aromas of desert flora. Green, lemon, cactus water, there's the water, aloe, um, blue lotus, uh, coriander, white peony, and then mineral wood, musk, tea leaves, and agave. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is just, this is great. And there's the nice uh, desert with the mountain range in the background. Um, so that's like my history lesson <laughs> with the spring preview. So the other thing here I want to talk about, let me get it here. Oh, that's my Christmas vacation village. Um, I broke this on Instagram the other day. We have three wicks coming from Yankee in the standard 14.5 ounce Bath and Body Works, Goose Creek, um, Kringle Candle format, right? Um, which I'm, I'm glad because um, the current three wicks, they... They're too wide for what they are, right? They had the five wicks. That was an epic failure. Um, there's too many wicks and too little wax. Um, then they have these other three wicks, which they've been using those for years with the, with the paraffin from a few years ago. Um, then they had like the, the bowls, right? The, um, um, oh, the parlor candles, right? Remember the old parlor candles in the 90s and early 2000s? Um, those were three wick paraffin and really nice parlor glass. Um, but finally, I, you know, first off, I, I hate these graphics, right? Um, give me a picture or give me like this water color thing here, but these I don't like, but I am excited to see how they burn, um, what fragrances are going to do. Are they going to release like the core fragrances? Uh, are they going to release some in these? I, you know, I don't know. Um, but I am totally excited to try them. Um, I tried to find one at the outlet yesterday. No, no luck. Tried to find one at Kohl's. No luck. Um, so I'm going to keep, uh, keep hunting for it. So that's the big news. And I think a lot of folks are going to be happy, especially if they throw. But the signatures throw, you know. So if you're going to buy Yankee Candle these days, you got to buy the signature. Um, though I've been burning my holiday Bayberry this Christmas and it's filling the house and that's only a single wick. So, you know, whatever. Um, all right guys. So, um, felt good to do a video, right? Get back in the swing of things. It's 20 minutes long. 
um, quite long for first video back there. But um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all real soon. Stay safe out there.